welcome back to the table. Today we're playing Too Many Bones. We're going to be taking our gear lock picket right there. Mr. Man in Blue. Oh, I don't think it's going to focus. Hold on. There he is. Mr. Man in Blue himself. And we're going to be taking him up against Gendrix there. And Gendrix is a 9 health, 4 initiative, with 3 attack dice, 2 defense dice, and a specialty dice. He does have hardy, and he does have limit. He does multi-target, and he's arranged. Now limit... It's not on that sheet. So the Statue of Scales, BQ Batty Points, but Party of One ignores this, so Solo Mode will ignore this. Um, add a one point Kobold Batty type on top of the Battle Cube, and then add Gengrix on top of the Battle Cube. And he's got two skills. He's got Hardy, anytime Gengrix takes damage, total is reduced to one. So that's a pain. And then, so this is going to be like a grind. And then he has Limit. Gendrix's target immediately removes a stat die from their gearlock mat for the remainder of the battle. If health or st defense stat dice are removed, adjust HP active defense to reflect new max. So basically, we're going to be relying on our skills for this one. Not necessarily... What's going on? There it goes. Not necessarily just powering up our defense and attack. Um, but that's only, I think that one, yeah. So the limit one, that's only if he rolls of bones. We can see it here. Yeah, the limit only happens if he rolls bones. And then his tyrant die, only roll, but roll if orb is not active. Active orb, place this die and 4 HP on batty lane. Die roll number, range, position. If that position is occupied, attempt the next position in the same lane. All four positions, orb is not activated. While orb is in battle mat, for each bones, a gearlock rolls, deal one damage to that gearlock. Party treats orb as opposing unit. And that has one, two, three, four. So he's got four and two. Charred Mander. Gendrix fireballs the weakest cobalt batty for one damage. That cobalt immediately moves adjacent to the closest opposing unit and deals two damage to it. So those are his two. His two dice. That he can do there. So we're going to put him in Warspire. His dice there. We're going to try to get there. In 10 days, set this aside here. Shuffle up these batty chips. I don't think I did. Best we can. Mix them up. Mix up these. Kind of just randomly pick them up. And the 20 points, I doubt I'll see them, but go ahead and just flop these around like that. Okay. So we're doing this on standard mode, so I'll gain a health, and then I put my extra point into dexterity there. And then, with that setup is complete, 
we're ready to begin day one for Mobindar. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think that is right. Okay, we have everything set up. We are ready for day one. And that is leaving Obendar. There it is. Only 12 hours till dawn, and the send off ceremony that will no doubt change the lives of every remaining gear lock and likely every life in Daylor. Weapons and supplies are ready to go, but the night is young, and adrenaline fills the veins. It's clear no sleep will be had tonight. There are sure to be some shady peddlers in dark alleys ready to deal in loot. Then again, some last minute training could pay a nice dividend by the morning. So what to do? What to do? Well, I think we're going to squeeze in some last minute self-improvement. We're going to gain two training points, this first option here. So we'll gain two training points. I think the first one we'll gain is stand ground. And then let's see what else am I looking at? I think we're going to roll our attack die and see if we can get an extra attack too. Yep. So we'll gain our attack. Those will be our two training points. We will advance a day, or er, progression. And let's see, do we want to scout? Sure, let's scout three. So we can scout one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can scout the five point baddies. Pretty sure, pretty sure. Scout. Oh, nope. One through three is a one point baddie. So we'll scout. And we got ourselves a hardy compound. That's not too bad. He goes first, but. He's only two health. I think that'll be all right. So we've done that. We can move on to day two. We've advanced the dial. Day two. Hardly out the gate. I'm gonna put my hand up there. There it is. Fifteen steps into the journey. Fifteen steps, and already a gearlock boot is struck through by an arrow. Luckily, no toes were killed. Teeth are clenched, and a painful tug is made when looking around in embarrassment. Yow! Now, sufficiently ticked, it's time to return the favor to some ominous figures at the edge of the woods. A commotion breaks out atop the city wall, interrupting all the thoughts. Guards have now spotted the brazen intruders and are notching their arrows. Their help is at the ready. Like it or not, this adventure is on the way. So, this is the one. Are the guards going to help us, or are they not going to help us? So, time to show what Obendar, what gear locks are made of. BQ batty points, and we're going to gain an extra training point. If we can do it. So, day two, we're going to get two one-pointers. We know where this guy's going. He is ranged, so he'll go here. That is the Cobalt Tracker. He's a six, so he'll go first. He gets two hit points. And compound... Every round he's going to get another attack, so we're going to want to take care of him first, and quick. Second is going to be uh, let's see, another hardy, three health, four initiative, one dice, and that's the cobalt green thumb. He's melee. Another hardy character. Hardy, hardy, hardy. So he'll go here with three health. 
and four initiative. Pickett, I think, oh, he does have a five, two twos, and three threes. So there is a chance, small chance, that we will be able to go second. Otherwise, nope, we're going last with a three. Where do we want to go? I think we want to go here. Yep. Alright. All ready to go. Round one. That means he gets one attack dice. He rolled a bone. It's good for me. He will move down here to engage me. He rolls one attack dice. And he rolled a bone. Maybe the dice will are a little bit better today. My turn. I have three dexterity, so I'll move up here for one. Hardy, I do believe, I just looked that up. Yeah, reduced to one. So I don't need to roll too many attack dice. So I can roll one attack. I'll roll... One defense. One attack on him. I got my attack. I also got a bone. So attack to him. Loses a health. Round two. Should probably look at his abilities real quick. Pick its abilities here. Shield bash. Remove all defense, including newly rolled active slots and lock slots. Deal. And so that removes all my defense and deal that damage to a target. Do over. May immediately reroll any number of rolled dice once. Benevolence. Heal pick it for 2 HP. Also add 2 defense die in its active slot at 5 bones. Perform backup plan shield bash. Also pick up its non tyrant target is stunned. And an 8 plus 1 gets him a gear lock wall. So round two, old dragon's getting two, D, two dice, he's going to hit me for two. Mr. Cobalt Green Thumb's going to pop up here, he's going to roll one. He hits me for one. Alright, so now I have three, so I can roll two defense, one attack. On this guy here. Not great, Bob. Could shield bash him. No, I think that'll be good. Round three. He goes first, so now he has three attack dice. Boy, you really can't miss with him, can ya? He hits for two, takes care of that defense. And then he rolls for one die. One. So that tings us down to one damage there. Okay, so now I can roll... One attack die, one defense, and I'll roll my stand ground. Ah, excellent. So I get my plus one recovery, I get another shield, and I do hit him for one. So that takes care of him. Dead. Get those guys there for now. Let's go over here. Round four. He's gonna go, roll one attack die. That'll hit me for one, but I have a shield there. My turn. I recover one health from my ability. And then, I guess I'll roll two attack die and defense. Ooh, two bones on the attack. And get my shield there. I might be able to get an eight on round one.
round five is going to be him rolling one dice. He rolled a bone. I will roll my two attack die. And I'll roll a defense. Okay, so I get my defense back. I hit him for three. But really it's just one because he's hardy. Oh, I also gained my health at the beginning of my turn. Almost forgot that. Okay, so now we're in exhaustion rounds, so we each lose true damage. He will go, he'll roll one. Hits me for one, pings my shield off. My turn. He's got one health left, so I'll roll one attack. I'm gonna roll two defense. And see if I can't get my innate plus one. Not quite. Um, so I'm not going to be able to get it, so I might as well do my benevolence, which will heal me for 2 HP. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm back to full health, and my one swing takes him out. Alright, now we're talking. really showed him what gear locks were made of. This all comes out. This stays locked. We're beginning a health every turn for the whole adventure. And now we get one, two training points and a loot. First, our loot. Take a look here. Let's see what we get. Our fortunate discovery. That's going to gain us one of our items here which is either an orcish ale which will set my HP to one for number of rounds I can't lose HP while HP is active so that's basically a last ditch effort effort and then jerky I can just heal for the amount of damage you know what I'm gonna cash that in now and I'm gonna get my jerky Last resort. Okay. So we gained a progress point and we're on day three. Day three is crossing the Cibron. There we go. Crossing the Cibron. The Sibron River, a glistening vein of trade running the length of the Daylor. Oh, running the length of Daylor. Playfully beckons as it shimmers in the daylight up ahead. But with so few bridges in these parts, the crossing is an obvious spot for enemy scouts and traps. A journey of this importance leaves only two options. Tucking the ears and trying to blend in is risky, but efficient. A boat at dusk carries less chance of discovery, but requires business with the Molnor, a trading syndicate with their own set of drawbacks. Well... Let's roll a d6. Let's see if we're found out. We need a one or a two. Oh no, we don't need a one or a two. A one. So our party is, party is spotted. Um, find the first tyrant encounter. My deck, which is this one. We're going to place that on top. And we're going to shuffle the remaining cards and keep them underneath. shuffled up. We're going to gain two progress points. So one, two. We're going to gain a training point. One, two, three, four, five, 
which I think I think we're going to add dexterity. That'll be our training point. Okay. Oops. Day four is going to be a tyrant encounter. Uh, the language of the orb. If this will focus, there it is. The language of the orb. The orb materializes out of nowhere, suspended in the air and, and, and emanating a black and ominous light. At first, it simply hovers above the mud that's been impeding any real progress for the day. Then it speaks, not audibly, and not in any language spoken in Daylor. The words it's speaking seem to float through the air without movement or sound, yet they're easily understood. Running away in this driving rain is going to be difficult, but meeting the orb's demands is going to come at a cost. Alright. There is no plan B. BQ batty points. No backup plan may be used during battle. Oof. Alright. And is there a plan C? BQ batty points. For each bones and gearlock rolls, the orb does one damage to it. Oh boy. But you get the extra training point. Uh, that's tough. Every bone a gearlock rolls, the orb does one damage to it. No backup plans may be used. I think we're going to play it safe. And we're just going to say no backup plans are being used because I can see myself rolling bones and just getting pinged with one damage but you can use your backup plan which means I could heal nope alright so no backup plans can be used we're doing battle points so we're in day four one three four Out of four is going to be an orc scout. Three health. He is ranged. He only rolls one attack. It does come with rating though. I think rating means that he gets extra attack dice. <laughs> One extra attack dice for every additional orc on the mat. Alright, so he has range. Two, three health. Initiative of four. Next. One point batty is going to be... Thick skin, one, careless, three health, and this is a troll brute. He'll be last on the initiative. One, two, three. <laughs> one attack, one defense for him. Our third one point batty is going to be. Oh. Clay Golem with break. Yikes. Five health. Break's not good. Break says... 
exactly that. <clears throat> Break. Break. Any attack dice used to reduce this unit's HP must be exhausted. So, we're basically going to be dealing with him last. One, two, three, four, five. And then last is going to be Engulf. A dragon Hatchling, 3 health, 1 attack die, 6 initiative, he's ranged. Engulf. It's way over here. Uh, all damage rolled by this unit also hits all adjacent units to target, including self as well, as triggers reaction skills if applicable. So he's basically got to burn everything down. Oh, wait. Six. He's here. That's three. Three is a two. And this is a four. And that's range. Okay, let's see where I'm gonna go. Five. That's wonderful. <sighs> He's gonna hit me, so... I think we're all set up for this hellacious battle. Let's see. Alright, he'll go first. He's rolling. Oops. One attack die. Hey, he rolled a bone. <laughs> now it's my turn. I'll use one dexterity to go here. I'm going to attack this raiding orc. Right? Two attack, no, one, two attack and one defense on this work here. Bone, see, that would have hit me for a health. I do one damage though. I got one of every type out, that's pretty good shuffling if I don't say so myself. Blue, he's gonna go, he's gonna roll one attack. I'll take a damage, I'll block it. Yellow's gonna go, he'll roll one. He'll hit me for one. And then last, the troll will go, one attack, one defense. That's careless. He does hit me for one though. Okay, round two. Mr. Engulf. Let's see if he can do a damage to everybody. He does! One damage, one damage, one damage. Is it one true damage? Because thick skin might engulf. Yeah, I think his thick skin will block the engulf. Alright, now it's my turn. I will heal for one. Let's see, back up to four. Um, two defense, one attack. Yeah, might as well two attack. Why not? All these bones. That's exactly why he's dead. Okay, so that's gone. So now the break dude's gonna roll one, and he rolls the bones. He's going to roll an attack and a defense. He gets two defense, and I block that with my shield. Okay. Round three. Mr. Engulf. Whoa. Rolls of bones. Um, I'm going to attack... This troll guy here, one, two attack dice, one, two defense, 
Oh, I gain a health at the start of my turn. Can't forget that. Two attack. So it's thick skin blocks one. And then that. So you would have taken five damage. Should have moved. He's gonna attack for one. He hits me for one, but I'll block it. Um, and then he's gonna go. He hits me for one. Okay. Round four. Mr. Engulf. Two. One, two damage here. Thick skin blocks one, but the other one pings that off, and then I'll take two damage there. Yowie, wowie. My turn. Um, I feel like I need to heal. Oh, I do gain a health at the start of my turn. Two attack, two defense. On thick skin here. Right. He gets hit for one. I roll three more bones. I mean, this is insanity. I can't use any of them. I can't even use my innate, I don't think, because I think that's a backup plan. I should Google that, though. Yeah, that's a backup plan. And this clearly says, no backup plans may be used, but look at all this damage I would have taken, so I think I made the right choice. Break Sky's gonna go. I have no defense. He rolls bones. Careless Guy goes. Would be cool if he rolled a bones. He did. I don't know what happens first, but I'll take a damage, and then his bones takes care of him. Okay. Round five. In golf. Yeesh. Yeesh. Not a two, not a two, not a two. A one. He engulfs both of us. Okay, start of my turn. I gain a health. I'm definitely going to heal this turn. And. One, two, two defense, one attack, and my healing against this break guy. Alright, so I heal for three. That gets consumed and goes back. One, two, three. Back here. This dice gets exhausted, so we'll put it here to remind ourselves. He loses his last health. It goes away there. That's the end of that. Round six is exhaustion, so we both lose a health. And he's gonna roll his one attack. Oh, hey, I forgot I had walkers. My turn, I gave my health back. I have four dexterity, so one, two. I have one attack die. Let's see if I can roll two. I cannot. I roll another bone. That's I've never seen so many bones in my life. All right. Um, exhaustion round. Both lose the health. And he's gonna go. He's gonna roll a dice. Does a damage to me, but he engulfs himself, and he's also dead. All right, so that completes that battle. We were successful, so we get a training point. We get a loot. All this goes away. Okay. So our loot is gonna be Zelfie Seeds, heal any garlic gear lock for 2 HP. That'll come into handy. 2, 3, 
four. Um, I do get a training point. We advance a day. I think I'm going to get a health. I'm going to heal back up to seven. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Okay. <clears throat> We're on day five. Um, Gendrix, Gendrix. He's got Hardy, so he's only taking one damage per turn. Day five is going to be the Sky Bridge. Maybe. Why oh, it's doing that? There it is. The Sky Bridge. It's a cakewalk. At least that's what I tell myself as I hang on for dear life, a thousand arrow lengths up from the sky. Unfortunately. This ancient rope bridge connected the two mountain ridges is more ancient than it is bridge. There's an unknown party on my tail and a trading post waiting beyond the ridge ahead. Only seconds remain to make one of two ill-advised choices. I could turn and fight on this tangle of rotting rope and wood. The other option, hightail it to the other side while dodging arrows from behind. If I make it, I can cut the ropes and send my pursuers on a one-way trip to the bottom of the canyon. Line them up and try not to throw up. That's battery points plus two battery points. So we'd be facing, facing a five and two ones. However, they're only coming out one at a time. And we're only fighting in lane one. And you get a loot. So I'm going to do that, I think. So a five point. Two one points. I just want to double check. That the five goes on the bottom. B Q building, building a Q. I think the five goes on the bottom. I just want to be sure. Battle set a B Q. Mm Five, five, one, one. Oh, so the five does come out first. Okay. Okay. Makes sense that it get harder, but. That's what we're going to do. All right. So we're restricted to lane one. Our five point baddie is going to be the Manticore. There he is. Six health, three initiative, poison two, rage two. Oof. Oof. Five, six. So he is going to. Poison two, which means he's gonna poison us. And then he's going to rage, which I think that's the one underneath. Yeah, it gains number of additional attack die. So that's great. We get to go first though. So can we do six health in a turn? Don't think so. We're gonna have to try though. One, two, two defense. Two attack, two defense. Alright. 
So to hit him for two. So he's now raging for two. Okay. So now he's going to roll two attack dice on his turn. He hits me for three, but I block two, so I'm only taking one. But then I'm also, luckily for me, poison two. Yay! All right, round two. Start of my turn, I get poisoned, and I also heal. So that negates. Same thing, two attack, two defense. Oops, that was a two, and a one. A two and a one. So three more to him. One, two, three. He's down to one health. And he's gonna go. He's gonna roll two, a two and a one. And I block that. Round three. I gain a health. Oh, the poison ticks back up. Ticks back down. But I gain a health. Okay. Two defense, two attack. Ooh, two bones, but two attacks enough to get rid of Mr. Manticore. Okay, so the next guy coming in, since he comes in, he's going to go behind me, is going to be, oh cool, a break minion, five health, one, oh no, oh no, all right. We got this. One, one, two, three, four, five. We just can't use any attack damage to get him. That's all. Round four. Lose a health, gain a health, but the poison is gone. Um, shield bash, I think. It's just the stun. Shield Bash for two. Remove all defense dice. Active slots and lock slots. Do total number of defense damage to target. Alright, so that's two. That's how we're going to have to beat them. And I choose not to use these. Although, we'd be able to kill them. He's going to go. He's going to roll one attack. He's going to do one damage to me. Round five. Oops. Round five. There we go. Two attack. Two defense. No bones. Oh, I gain a health at the start of my turn. That's good to know. goes, rolls one attack, hits me for one, blocks one of my shields. Alright. Exhaustion round. Both lose a health. Start of my turn, I gain a health. Uh, two attack, two defense. I got a bone. This, so I'll shield bash for one. And then he goes, he rolls one. One. Okay, new round. He's exhausted. I'm exhausted. He goes away. And our last baddie is going to be. A thick skin, careless, three health, one attack, troll minion. One, two, three. Right there. Alright, start of the round, exhaustion, we both lose a health. 
Start of my turn, I gain a health. Two attack, two defense. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, four attack. And that's enough to take care of him. So we did the one at a time, so we get a loot. We also get two training points, and we advance a progression. Two training points. Um, I think I'm going to roll defense. Nice. And then our loot is going to be a uh, red minotaur. Ignore one bone when making a training attempt. Oh, probably should do that first just in case, but we're good. Uh, and then I will heal up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Heal back up. And we're on to day six. What goes around? Goes around. How unusual. Up ahead, I can make out a group of raiders robbing a lone Molnar trader. Molnar always have amazing goods, usually belonging to others. The original owners of those goods are typically the ones who need rescuing. Seems the bout is on the other, or the boot is on the other foot for a change. Helping a black market trader seems wrong, but I also despise raiders. I could let the dust settle before picking off any stragglers, maximizing my spoils, and yet it would be nice to have the molder owing me for a change. Before we do that, I forget I got another, 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 another turning point. I'm gonna put it in confidence. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get shield for him. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. Let them deal with the Molnor, then attack or defend him. BQ batty points, add a 5 point batty on top of battle queue. Okay, 4 hit points on the gear lock mat. Melee unit with 2 movement to attack and takes his turn right after you to succeed encounter. Trader must survive. Remove special encounter molar traders from the adventure. And a trove loot. Oh, baby. Mm hmm. Um, let them deal with the Molnar, then attack. So we're going to add five points. We have two five points and a one point. Oops. Alright, so our first five is going to be a thick skin taunt. 5 health, 3 attack, 2 shields. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Luckily, we go first. Oh, and we remove 2 HP. So he really has 1, 2, 3 health, which we can take care of quickly. 
Our next five point baddie is going to be a thick skin inspire troll sage. But he gets two removes, so he only has four. That's going to go here. He has a four initiative. Very wise. Inspire one. I think that's if he rolls a bones. Inspire. The next baddie takes their turn immediately after this unit. It's granted over. Oh, it gets an additional attack die. So that's great. And then for our last one, we're going to do a one pointer. And it's a rating orc grunt. Four health. Minus two is two. Initiative of two, so he's down at the bottom. Come on, give me a five. Let me go first and take out these bums. A two. Yikes. Okay, so he's gonna go first. All right, where do I want to go? Guess I'll stay here. First, he'll move here. He'll roll two attack, one defense. He'll have a defense and he hits me for two. Two. Now I get to go. Now I get to heal one at the start of my turn. Um, I'm going to roll this. Two attack and a defense. So we got our plus one defense there. I did get a shield and we have three attack. So thick skin ignores one. So I have two attack. One here, one here. Alright. Blue's gonna go. He's gonna hop down one, two here. One, two, three, and two. Holy crap, this is going to be freaking heavy. Alright, so he does have a taunt. I block one, I block two. He is going to be taunting, so I have to attack him next. And then he's going to come down one, two. Here, I guess. Round two. Triple go. Gonna hit me for one, because I block one here, and take a damage. Start of my turn, I'll heal one, so I get that right back. I'm gonna go after this taunt guy, I guess. He's got three health, I've got two attack dice, a defense, and another defense. Oh, look at that. I think about that. Thick skin blocks one. Shield blocks another one. I do one damage. I get a shield for myself and I get a bones for myself. This is gonna be a battle. He's gonna go three attack die, two defense. He's taunting. Three attack. I block two of it and take one. This goes away. The yellow guy, he's still coming down. Round three. Two attack guy for this. Oh shit, he rolled a bones. I do block that. So this guy gets to go immediately, right? Inspire. additional decks so he gets one more dice so he's at four attack dice and two shields oh my god I just rolled four twos 
That was the most insane roll I've ever seen in my life. I blocked one, but I'm still dead. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, even if I heal, oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. I mean, look, all twos, all twos, all four of them, holy balls, well, I'm dead, <laughs> after the most insane roll ever, one, two, three, four, five, seven, Let's go back into there. We're gonna reset these guys. Two, three, four, one, two, three. Yikes. Yikes. That was insane. I can't believe it just happened. Alright, well let's reset here. I guess we'll go after this guy first. Was it two the first time? Doesn't matter. Ooh, crap, that was insane. Alright. All right, day seven. Oh, we're gonna add, we're gonna get rid of these guys. Oh. Do they go to the back? All right, day seven. So two one points, five point. And then we're adding a five point, but they all get minus two health. So our first five point is going to be this Raiding Rage Orc Raider. So he'll have three health. Initiative of three. Our second five point baddie is going to be, oh, a seven health in golf, weak in two, dragon with two attack. Oh, nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Still has five health, even with the minus two. One, two, three. And then our one pointers. Gonna be a poison one. Range poison. Only has one health though, so. Initiative of three. And then our last one pointer is going to be the thick skin careless troll bomber. One health on him. Minus two health. Initiative of two. Where are we going to go? We are going to go second after the engulf with his two attack. Yikes. Alright. Two attack, two defense, round one. Oof. A lot of defense. Hits me for one. Also hits this guy for one. One, two, three. Save the demons. We gotta get the attack out. We gotta make sure this guy dies. Yes. Alright, so we got our plus one. 
We got our two defense, and we did two attack. So we did get rid of this guy. Not going bad. Okay. And then we're going to get poison for one. Kink. Oh, he's melee. He's going to come up and get us. So one, two. Rolls one attack. Hits us for one. Which we blocked our shield there. Alright, round two. He's going to attack for two. Oops. Hits for two, so I take one. I take another one. He gets engulfed. My turn. I take a poison, I gain a health, that washes out. Um, one, two, three, four. I get bones, but I do get rid of the poison bog. Guy. So now it's me and the dragon. Round three. Oops, it's okay. I go, I recover for one. One, two, three, four. Okay, round four. Attack die hits me for two. I block those. Now I go. I gain a health. And I'll roll one of these. Two attack and a defense. Two attack. We'll get rid of that. So go back here. He's going to attack for two plus a defense. Two attack. I have nothing to block. He gets a defense back. Oops. Okay. My turn. I get the health back. One, two, three, four, five. I'll use the Zelfy seeds. Full, uh, two attack, one of these, and one of these. All right, so we got our defense. We have a defense. We do get a bone, so we do attack for one. Round six is an exhaustion round. So exhaustion, we're both losing the health. And he's gonna attack for two attack and a defense. Bones. So one gets blocked here. He gets his defense and then he's gonna weaken me for two, which means I lose one of my dexterities. But that's okay, because I can still roll. Two and a defense. On my turn, I heal for one. Three damage, I'll get rid of this. I'll get a shield. Exhaustion. Both lose the health. He goes with his two attack and two defense. It's me for two, I block one, I 
block another. One, two, three. Boom. Benevolence to attack. Exhaustion round, we both take a damage. Roll shield. Hits me for two, which blocks that. And he's gonna weaken me. To attack. Actually, one attack on defense. Uh, so I hit for one. Then I'll shield bash for two. Oh, he's been engulfing himself the whole time. Oh, yeah, get me out of this fight. He's been burning himself up the whole time. I haven't even been doing it. Took care of that. So we get three loot. One, two, three. We get a progress point. So we're one away and we get a training point. We need another dexterity. Alright, our three loot cards. First one is going to be blurry. There it goes. Shit. Oh god, herbs. Heal yourself for one HP in battle. Second loot is going to be reinforced buckler. That's good. And adds a defense to high. It doesn't count against our defense. Last one's Troll Brew. Permanently increase your health stat die by one at the start of your next battle. Reduce your current HP by three. I think I'll go ahead and use that. So we're up to eight, so we gain one. And then at the start of our next battle, reduced by three. Okay, day eight. Still need one more training point. Issue of lung capacity. Uh, 34, 35, 36. How long before I drowned in this bog? My ill-advised taunting landed me here, cornered in this soggy cesspool with no one to blame but myself. Thankfully, I remembered that most Ebon have an unnatural aversion to water, if you can even call this water. Yet, they sit in the water edge with all manner of sharp and pointy objects. 43, 42, 43, 44. The opposite bank is too far to swim to, and I abandoned my gear behind a boulder on this side. Maybe I can reach out and grab one of their spears. Hmm. Go for the gear. Increase my attack. That's what I'm going to do. Increase my attack by one. So we have three attack now. And then the first bad. 
batty, which will be a five point batty, we're going to reduce by two. So we're at day eight, so we're going to have three one pointers and a five pointer. Five point batty is going to be thick skin, taunt. That's a good one. Two, three, four, five. Number two. But instead of rolling three attack dice, he's only rolling one attack die. So we'll put a one here. Try to remember that. Number one, gonna be poison two melee. Little frog guy there. Two, three, four. He's going here, so that's gonna be initiative of three. All right, so far looking good. Next one point guy is going to be a rating orc scout, three health, one attack. One, two, three. He's going to go here with an initiative of four. And our last one going to be a careless troll for health. Two, three, four. He's going to get an initiative of three. Oops, three is about two. Alright, more's our initiative. Let it be high. Two? Oh god. I wish you could get a reroll on that shit. Alright, where do we want to go? Yellow's going first. Blue's going last. Purple's gonna come poison us. So I guess we'll go here. That makes sense. Alright. Oh, he's ranged. Alright. One attack die from the raider. Blocked by that. And the purple guy. He's gonna slide over. Point us for two. And the green guy. He's gonna come down. Then we're gonna go. Uh... Let's see, I gotta get rid of this poison guy. I do have three attack die. <clears throat> and a dexterity, so I can roll two defense. Dexterity of five. We got two bones. Oops. Oops. Oh, I forgot to take my poison. Oh, and I forgot. One, two, three. But I heal one. Alright. So we lost our three health, took a poison, healed one. From that. Okay, now what? Now we have a two shield here. And I can do three damage. And then do this for a shield bash. And it gets rid of this guy. One pointer. Oops. Uh, purple. Blue goes. He'll come down here. Thick skin, taunt, one attack die, two defense. So help me for one, but I'll block it. And then we'll get his three thing you can't even read anymore. Oops, that was round one. Round two. Range guy is going to roll one. Bones, doesn't matter. Green guy, still trying to figure out how to get to me, is going to come here. And I'm going to go.
I'm going to... Oh, poison and a health, so that cancels out. Um, he's just going to roll. I'll move one. I still have four dexterity. So three attack dice, one defense on this raiding orc. No, on this troll here. One, two, three, four, attack, and a bone. Perfect. Okay, so that's green. Blue goes. He's gonna slide over here. He's gonna roll his one attack die, which I'll block with my shield. Round three. Yellow guy goes, rolls his attack. One blocked. I go. I heal a damage. Three attack, two defense on the raiding orc. Defense, one, two, three, four, five, attack, that's insane, and a bone. So that's gonna wipe him way the F out. And then blue's gonna go, he's gonna roll his one attack. It's a two, one's blocked, two's blocked. Round four. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna gain a health. Three attack die, two defense, two more bones, and four attack. So three attack, and his thick skin. So that blocks all of that. He goes one attack, two defense, taunt, that's fine. One attack, which I block, and one defense there. Round five. I go, three attack, two defense, two more bones, two attack, which will get rid of that, and a defense. This I will cash in six, and I'll flip to my innate sign. So now, innate plus one. In addition to my shield wall benefits, I may also put rolled defense dice in my locked slots during battle. So I can put them in here. If I want. He's gonna go though. One attack, two defense. Does nothing. Oh, he gets his one defense. Blood round. We're exhausted. We're taking damage. Okay. My turn. I get my health back. He's got four health. I've got three attack dice and two defense dice. One, two, three, two bones. So three damage, we'll deal one to him. Could shield bash, but I'll wait. And he's going to one attack, two defense. I block. He's got that. All right, we're exhausted. I'm gonna gain a health. He's exhausted. He's down to one health. He's down to two health. So I'm gonna re-roll three. Oh, I get to add a defense die. So let's roll this plus my one attack. Look at all them frickin' bones. Unreal. Um, that's 
not even going to do anything. He's going to roll his one attack, which will do nothing because I have my block. I'm exhausted. Lose a health. Lose a health. But I gain a health right back. And then my turn. Um, one, two, three attack. Let's see if we can't push this over. Two defense. Three attack is enough to do that. And another bones. And I guess I'll benevolent. Just to heal myself back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That and that and that he goes. One attack, two dice. One gets blocked. This goes here. We're exhausted. We each lose a health. Doesn't matter. He's dead. Goes there. He goes there. He goes there. He goes there. Okay. Two training points. A loot, which is going to be here. Maybe I'm losing light. Uh, treasure trove, Eb. Oh, find the special encounter, Ebonite doorway. Oh, interesting. I like that. Okay, so that goes away. We gain progress point. We got our loot. Two drain points. Dexterity for one, and reroll this. Defense two. Boss, do this. Got our progress point. We're up to worst fire. We're going after Gendrix. Nine health. Statue of Scales, BQ Batty Points, ignore that. Add a one point Kabold Batty on top of the BQ. So we need a one point Kabold. Kobold. Um, okay. All right. And he's going here. He's got Hardy and Limit. He's got an initiative of four. Do now. Okay, we got the herbs. We did our training points. Yes. I did dexterity and defense. That's right. Okay. Nine health. We're going to do two of these, which are, these are three points, three pointers, three, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. um, that's him here, and he's a four. And then this guy's got two health, he's ranged with an initiative of six. So I'll get to go first, but one damage won't do nothing. It'll be all right. We're gonna go third. We're gonna go last? No, I don't wanna go last. All right. Where are we gonna set? do one damage, so we're going to have to rely on these exhaustion rounds, I have a feeling. Mm, right there. Alright, let's freaking do it. Bones.
don't matter. He's going to go. He's going to come down. Yikes. Three attack dice, two defense, and his special dice. Ooh, the orb. Okay, I forget what the orb does. He's going to attack me for three. I'll take two of those damage. One, two. Since that blocks, and then he'll get shield. Okay, and then limit. Oh, he rolled a bone. Shoot. Um, we'll get rid of my attack. All right, place this die in four HP on Batty Lane. Two, three, four. So that can go here. Uh, range position here, 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 like that. Um, if I'll hold it for each. HP on Batty Roll. Oh shit. Okay, so. Alright, so that's out. We have to kill that thing. But he doesn't get to roll his thing, so. Alright, my turn. one attack die so we're gonna have to rely on one two three four defense one attack So I still have three dexterity, so two defense and an attack on this side. <laughs> do two damage. And I take two damage. Did I gain my health back? I don't think I did for my turn. We'll say I didn't. goes he's just round two so he's now got to roll for two i should have definitely went after him that was dumb oh i get these two bones though block one take one then he's gonna go here three attack one defense Bones is a limit. Block one, he gets this, so I still take one. Oh no. Um, I guess I'll get rid of my health. This is going very poorly. Alright, my turn. I gotta attack this. Oh, he can only take one damage too. Alright, so one attack, one, two, three, four defense. I gain a health at the start of my turn. Uh, I'll then I'll use the all guard herbs to heal myself another. And one defense die to your roll each turn. Okay. Six. Ooh, only one damage to me. Is that true damage? Oh, I block it. All right. So I can put one, two, three, four. So if I attack him for one, it does that. 
Then if I use Shield Bash, clear off all these. That does another one. So I'll get rid of him. Okay. That does nothing. Round three. He's gone. He's gonna come. Oh, he's ranged. He's not moving anywhere. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, he's gonna roll three attack anyway. One, two, three, four. I block one, so one, two, three. My turn. Gain of health. I'll use the Ogot herbs again. Heal again. Did do a damage to this thing. And did get a lot of defense. That's what we need, baby, baby, baby. Round four. He's gonna attack me for three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. My turn. Gain of health. Okay. Do one attack, four, five defense. Hope. That was a two. Two attack, gets rid of him. So he'll get that dice back. And then I got one, two, three, four, shield shock. Is that any enemy or an adjacent enemy? This guy back for four health. And he's attacking me for one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. My turn. I gain a health. I can benevolence. One, two, three, four. Gain two more health. Yeah, one more health. Get one damage from the bones, then I'll block it, and I do one damage to the shield. Okay, true damage to everybody all around. Here's how we're gonna try to win the fight. Three attack and a defense. Oops. One, two, three, one, two, three. And his defense is back. Okay, my turn. Gain a health back. One, two, three, four, and an attack. One, two, three. So I do two attack, gets rid of this. 
could shield bash, but that seems stupid. He's got that out there. Okay. Exhaustion round. Everybody loses a health. He attacks for three plus one. Bones limit, so we're going to get rid of a defense. One, two, three, four. My turn, I gain a health. One attack, two defense. One attack, we'll deal that. Oops. Exhaustion round, everybody's exhausted. He's down to six. And he goes three attack, two defense. Three, one, two, three. Okay, my turn. I need a health back. Two, four, five. Attack to defense. Your bones block that health. Uh, do an attack to them, I guess. Exhaustion round two. I'm just gonna ride out this exhaustion wave, baby. One, two, three. What's this? Charred Mander, which he can't do. So that does nothing. He does get rid of my dexterity, though. And he's going to do two, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. To me. All right, my turn. I'm going to heal for one. Two dexterity, so one attack, one defense. Sure. Bones. If I do do an attack, she knocks that down to one. Um, all right, exhaustion round. We need to take a damage. He's gonna roll this shield. Three attack. One, two, three, and charge mander. One, two, three. My turn, I heal one, and then I'll spend my last oh god herb to heal another. I'll use benevolence to heal two more. Then I'll roll one. Yeah, there's no point in attacking him. I'm just going to have to roll. Hang out with defense. Just try to survive as long as I can. Two. All right, exhaustion round. Both taking it. Exhaustion. He's down to three health. I'm getting close. All right, he's going to roll three attack at his thing. Ooh. Three attack, which I block all of it. But now we're getting to the point of this guy. He's gonna come in with four health. And lane three, which is there. Okay, my turn. I gain a health to start. I roll my two defense. Two defense there. Exhaustion. Everybody takes an L. He's down to two health. Uh, forgetting about this reinforced buckler. He's gonna roll three attack. One, two, three. That clears my defense. 
by turn one, two, three with the reinforced block layer. One, two, this blocks my bones. Um, I will shield bash him. So two is going to do this. One will do one to here. And now it's exhaustion. Gendrick's defeated. He is defeated. So I think I played that all right. I'm not really sure. Please leave in the comments below. Let me know if I missed anything or if I screwed anything up, which I probably did. Um, pick it. We made it. Got to the end. We semi beat Gendrix. Basically just turtled up and let our defense ride out. I love this game. I do love it. Um, the dice rolling, the decisions that you have to make, the story, all of it. It's just my, it's one of my favorite games. But if you enjoyed this, please, you know, share in the comments below. Let me know what you think. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video.